Hey guys, how you doing? Anonymous here. Uh, we're going to be exploring the Game 8 library today. This is another obscure handheld that uh, just came to the Mister. Um, this was released back, I believe, in 1992. Let's look it up. And uh, you can see it in the bottom left corner. It had a uh, very much a, like a Master System type of, uh, or Game Gear type layout. What's up, Shadow Gaze? What's up, uh, Gabe? I think it's 92, 1982. Let me check. Um, but we're going to be exploring the entire library today. Uh, we explored the Supervision yesterday, so if you, uh, ni yeah, ni early 1990s. We explored the Supervision yesterday. We actually did find some pretty good games. I, I, I made, I made a, a list of all the games that I thought was pretty reasonable, um, you know, pretty much playable. So this went from 1990 to 1994, and there's a pinball game, so it's already better than the Supervision. <laughs> um... We'll be going through everything alphabetical and then making a note of uh, the standout games. Alright, let me just turn the light on and we'll be good to go. I'd remember to do everything. Oh yeah, normally you show up a little bit later, right? Yep. Yeah. It's always a, a go-to soundtrack for me. A little bit better than this, too. Alright. Al Quing Tyne. If that's how you say that. <laughs> beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. That's the thing about the mister, man. Keeps on delivering. Easy, normal, or hard? I think I'll start off just easy. It's fine. Probably doesn't need to be this loud. Alright, we got a big old dude. We got a small female. And a samurai. Let's go to the small female. Can you choose where you're going? Nope. What's going on here? Oh, there's blood on that, uh, giant sword. The Z-Force. Oh, dude, the person's got a knife through their back. Look how long her punch is. We got a punch and a jump. Oh, we got a super joy. Nice. Beep, 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 beep. Boop, boop. Oh, we can throw too? Jump kick. Nope. Oh. Yep. Nice. Yeah, you can already tell. So I, I, I've been told that this library, this is at, the game is supposed to actually have quite a few uh, decent games here. Um, whereas supervision, I mean, we had some okay games there, but nothing, nothing huge other than that. Um. There was that one Journey to the West that looked like a decent budget, or, uh, like, a, you know, there was more going on than a single screen type of game. Now, I think we're gonna see a, a lot better caliber games on the Game 8, because the Game 8 was actually a, a serious contender, um, from what I've been told, or what I've read, uh, for the Game Boy at the time. So, this, this game is already showing that it's, like, you know, this, this genre, like a beat-em-up, you know, that wouldn't have been really possible on the last hardware. Or it wasn't something that uh, they tried to achieve. 
So I'm expecting I'm expecting the caliber of games to be better today is basically what I'm saying. Dun, 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 dun. Now will they be as good as will we have a game that like beats a Game Boy game? That's what I that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, this is good so far. This would be good on the Game Boy. Like if this was on Game Boy, like if you ever played Double Dragon on the Game Boy, you're, you know that this is actually better. I threw him backwards. Yeah, you think this is supposed to be Chun-Li? I'm okay with it. What's up, Personal Matthew? Welcome. Beep, 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 beep. Boop, 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 boop. We have power-ups? Oh, man. This game rules. That's got a bat! Oh, I can't get his bat, either. Looks like there's friendly fire. I'm pretty sure he hit the other guy. Or if there's gonna be like a boss fight. Beep 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 beep. Wonder how capable the music chip is. Nice. Is there a mighty final fight for the uh, the Game Boy? I don't remember. Pretty sure it's Nintendo only, right? There's some really impressive Game Boy games. Like a lot of the Irem stuff. For like this style of uh, platformer. Platformer beat em up type thing. Come on. Wonder if that does a lot of damage. I took off some of my health there. Typical Super Joy fashion. The other guy kind of looks like Aquaman or something. Got like fishnet pants on. And like a bandana covering his face. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, that didn't kill him, so it's not super powerful. We did put it on easy, too. So the AI might be lackluster because of that. No, I just started from the alphabetical beginning. We're gonna go through the uh, the entire library today, alphabetically. Speed run. Oh, this person has a health bar. I assume they're important. Does the other person have a health bar?
And I'm using a, uh, I'm using a Game Boy, a Super Game Boy color palette here. Just, uh, spice things up a bit. The, uh, the Game A just had a, uh, a green dot matrix screen. The Game Mate had a, a green dot matrix screen like the Game Boy. I wonder if I can Super Joy even after my health is, uh, low. Does not look like so. Come on. Oh dang. Okay, good. We didn't have to redo the stage. I could probably, if I would have played that better, I probably could have stayed alive. So there's one, two, three, four, at least one, two, three, four, five, six stages. Oh, we got a new song, too. So this looks decent. Wonder if it's following a uh, traditional like folklore storyline. Let's see. Um, oh, the music's getting better. Let's see if uh, the difficulty, if playing the difficulty a little bit harder, if uh, the enemies are more alive, or if it's just like, if it's just if we have a. Uh... Might as well check some of the outside too. Or is it if we just get less, more damage. We have to watch this cutscene again, though. It's not a bad cutscene, though. I would like a stage select. Um, like we saw in the in the last console. Just so, because if you're going to be playing this game multiple times, uh, you don't have to play through it all at once. That walks a lot faster. Oh, he's got the E-Honda, like, jump. Enemies are walking around a little bit more, I think. A little bit more intelligence into them. That's the Super Joy. This game looks decent. I'll say this is a good game for the system. That was, uh... Let me write this down. Baseball. The music down just a little bit. It's like too much. Tiger, Dragon, Elephant, Eagle. Tiger. So far this looks like a uh, Nintendo, the Game Boy baseball game. Oh yeah, it's... I'm noticing on these games, a lot of, a lot of the games, the, um, the intro music's really loud and then the actual gameplay is a lot quieter. Now, now it's too low. What? It hit the ground! 
I remember um when I used to play baseball with friends, we would always try to go forward when we hit uh because we thought it would make the ball go further. I wonder if anybody else did that as a kid. This is all English too. That's gonna get caught. No? Alright, let's run. What? Dude, it went past him! He still caught it. I should have went to the uh, right of him. Drop. Nice. Run! Dude, my guys are so slow. Alright, home run. Let's go. 322. Oh, come on. What? Gonna get a double play? Oh my god. So this this is missing this is decent, I guess. Uh this is missing the magic that I think the uh I really like the original baseball game for the Game Boy. This is missing you raised your hand but you're not gonna move at all to try to catch it. It's missing some of the magic of the Game Boy game. What are you doing, dude? Where are you even throwing it? Home? Okay. Or first. Beep, 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 boop. Foul, please. Thank you. The, uh, the baseball game, it does flicker. The Game Boy ga uh, baseball game does flicker a lot. Look at- I could go ma I could make it go left and right and left and right. That was funny. Oh, that's... That's not good for me. So slow. I wonder the difference in, uh, processors for this. Versus the Game Boy is. No shortstop? Nope. Alright, this is okay. I'd play the Game Boy version. Was there a generic Game Boy? Uh, that intro rules. Um, was there a generic basketball game for, uh, Game Boy? I don't remember. I had, um, Double Dribble. Pretty sure I had double dribble. I don't know how to jump. Neither button's jumping. What's up, Tonda? Beep, 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 boop. This controls horribly. If you hit a button, it just stops walking. Jump up and get it, dude. I got the ball. You have to hit one button to jump and the same button again to f release the ball. Really weird. Oh, uh, it's two, like, known IP characters. No, it's, it's Bill and Henry, guys. Bill and Henry. Welcome, Edgar. weird 
screen wipe. Alright, jump up and hit it! I don't understand the controls. This looks okay, but not that good. It's no double dribble. Wonder if I wonder if I have to even take it back. Look at the scoots on my number. How did that not go in? Jump! Alright, that's basketball. We got we got more games today to go through, so we can't spend too much time unless we find something cool. Pac-Man. Icarus, thanks to the host. Ooh, that's, uh... That's an effect. Bomb Blast, I'm assuming a, um... Bomberman? Toasty! Edgar, thanks for the follow. Very confused. There's like no way to lay a bomb. The cool kids, yeah. Yeah, I'm always playing weird, obscure stuff, so if that's your jam. You're in the right room. Oh, is that a bomb or a trash bag? It's a bomb. Oh, so I can't just lay bombs in the corner like every other Bomberman game. I have to, like, space it? Oh, shit, I'm dead. Hey, Chris, did you see? Uh, There's quite a few uh, shmups on the, um, the Supervision we played yesterday. I'm hoping there's some decent shmups on here. Oh, and there's one Mahjong game, too. That looks pretty decent, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, yeah. Uh... Task Force, I think? I wrote down, um... I have a list on my pastebin of all the games that I thought were pretty decent. I didn't make, uh, indication whether it was a shmup or not, but... There's like two shmups on there that's pretty decent. This music's really good. I've never seen a Bomberman game where you can't lay a bomb where you're standing. This one you have to be a you have to have a full space. Oh, that, the ghost can go through blocks, that's not fair. <clears throat> this was a uh, LED uh, dot matrix, that's what you're saying, you're asking. What's up, Spuckles? It's a green trash bag, full of hopes and dreams. Move race, game over. Lover. Alright. Bomberman clone called Bomb Blast. What about Bomb Blaster? Bomb Blaster is Bomb Blast. Is the title at least different? Nope. Okay. I'll correct that.
Yeah, the, uh, the console that this is is the bottom left corner. A little handheld. Oh, we got a Buster Brothers clone. Probably. Oh, you can jump in a Buster Brothers clone? That's interesting. This flickering is atrocious. Yeah, there was a Pang clone yesterday, too, but it was really, really bad. I like the fact that you can jump, but the flickering is making this almost impossible. It's running really fast, too. Just game over. Alright. Bananas. Bombs. It's probably best to play this one just uh, through one little hole. What gates have been released? Is it Tonda? I've never seen such a low arcing bounce. Okay, maybe it's catchy. Better than yesterday's game, but it's not saying much. I do like that you can jump. A few, a few bleeps in there you like? But yeah, it's, it's, I think that's how I feel. I think I have iframes at the beginning because I should have died a couple times there. Or a really sparingly hit. Hitbox. Yeah, what if what if this game has like a hundred stages and nobody's ever beaten it? Boom, that's boom, guys. Box form. The game was loud too. Oh, we got a boxy boy. Can't get the can't get the music at the right level. Be cool if this was like a b-ball clone. Hi, I would like to play. I'm hitting start, it's not taking. Oh, the controller is off. Oh yeah, so it's a it's a um What's it called? Sodaka Sodaka or something? wait, Sadukin? Sud oh I already messed up.
Sakuban. What is the very first instance of this game, or this style of game? Like, what, uh, hardware was it? <laughs> Amazon's all robots, though. I did, I do have a robot game like this, too. It was a homebrew for the NES. I have no idea. <laughs> that's not it. Alright, so that's a, uh... Sokoman style of game. Looks like it's decent. Brick Blaster, I assume, is a... A breakout type game. PC88, you think? Thanks for the uh, thanks for the research. Oh, music. I wonder if there's power-ups or anything. I played the heck out of the uh, NES game. Or the Game Boy game. Wasn't that the pack-in? I think that was the pack-in. At least the, from the Game Boy I bought. Not sure if these guys can hit my uh character or bar. I'm just avoiding them. Yeah, it looks decent. Nice speed. Good control. I like when there's power ups in these style games. This is a really good one for the uh Sharp sixty eight K, but the uh the music's all glitched out fast. On the uh, the Mr. Core, it's called uh, Block Gal, I think. It also has some uh, tissue time moments, so I wouldn't stream it. But the gameplay is really cool, and it has power ups. Is it Blockout or is it no? Blockout is the arcade game. There's a is it Metal Orange? Metal Orange something? Cyber Orange EX. I know. Um, yeah, a few of those games did. The ROM Star conversion kits. Came with the uh, the dial there. It was fun. Always easier to play it with that versus a uh, a joystick conversion. Oh dang! So, Kevin. Cathed, what's the uh the sharp sixty eight K tissue time arcanoid game? Isn't it Cyberblock Orange or something? Oh we got a boss. That's cool, it's a boss fight. 
I've never seen a boss fight in one of these games. Well, I've seen... There's a Genesis game that has boss fight, I think. Did I get hit? No. Cyberblock Metal Orange, there we go. Do you ever get your monitor, Cathode? <laughs> Studio monitor earbuds, nice. Sweet. About time you get that computer up and going. Is it the computer that we built forever ago? What is happening there, dude? So that seems decent. Brick Blaster. Oh, we got a fighter. Cosmic Fighter. Hey. Was this a shmup? I think this was a shmup on the other system. Oh, uh, anybody want to name the game that this is cloning already? Made by Centuri. Not cloning, but definitely inspired by. Satan's Hollow? A little bit of Satan's Hollow, yeah. I'm thinking the Centuri game, though. Phoenix. I don't know Astro Smash. Who? Would this be considered a shmup? Definitely. You was thinking Phoenix as well? Yeah. Dude, those Phoenix cabinets. So those Phoenix cabinets were made in... I think they were made in Hollywood, Florida. I mean, Florida. Those wooden cabinets. And I will tell you what. They are heavy. It's all solid wood. It's not like uh, MDF. They are heavy as all get out. Do you ever want to buy one of those games? Know that you're back. You need to bring a back brace. And a friend. And a dolly. Oh my gosh. Same, the shots are same as Demon Attack? Sweet. Oh, is it a straight up clone of Demon Attack, you think? Is Demon Attack a, uh, a licensed game or a homebrew or what? Welcome, Mighty uh, Squirrel. Ah, I got greedy. Are you saying it's an iMagic game? Somebody else said iMagic too. Spuckles. <laughs> you've you've had to move one to cathode, bruh. Or if this is gonna have a boss fight. What's up, Ellie? Ellie, did you buy a uh, a fifteen thousand dollar pinball game? <laughs> I think so expensive. So Toy Story came out, Toy Story 4, by Dirty Jack, and it's 11, it's 12 grand for the LE, 
and 15 for the collector's edition. Crazy. 16.5 with tax. And they sold out. Is this is this good? This is just a straight up clone. We got a 9K machine. I mean, the fact that I remember when it is 9K is still very expensive. But I remember when 9K was like just ridiculous money for a pinball game. I bought my first pinball game for a couple hundred bucks. Fishtails, fully working fishtails. I don't need. I don't even think I have 9K of pinball games in my three games that I have. I don't. I have three amazing pinball games that are less than one LE game. Oh, Helicon's tomorrow? Nice. Wait, wait. Helicon's the brewery, right? I see um, people are already getting their uh, Toy Story. Which is crazy to me. Dang it. This is okay. But if it's a clone, then... Meh. Is it made by... Is it, is it made by iMagic? I no, it's a BitCorp copy. Okay. Wait, I think BitCorp made the stuff from yesterday, too. Is the game mate and the supervision made by this... Both made by BitCorp? Just like the Game Boy 2? So this is made by BitCorp. No, the supervision was made by Watari, but a lot of the games were made by BitCorp. Hub Challenge will be streaming one tomorrow. Nice. You always gotta appreciate those early streams. Original game. Alright, we got Tetris Clone. Devil Castle. Oh, this music sounds familiar. I know this song somehow. It's got an attract mode. I don't think... I don't know if any of the, uh... Supervision games had an attract mode. This looks like an arcade game. Katha, do you recognize this? This looks like a. St there's a Stern game. There's a Stern arcade game with robbers on it. That's yellow. Bagman? Yeah, I think Bagman's the art I'm thinking of. We go in here? It's a Teletubby! You wanna buy something? No. Thank you. 
That gave us, like, no health back. And this, this is like Castlevania where the hearts aren't, uh, health. Ah, at the very beginning. I don't know what to think of this game yet. I don't understand the objective. Coming in blind without a manual. Like the classic pig demons and hopping vampires. I mean, that's, that's the way they are in real life, right? I can't buy anything. I don't have 150 hearts. I have what? I have 33 hearts. Well, that's not good. I don't have 50 yet. Oh, we're looking for a key, it looks like. we just have to farm the enemies until we get enough points to... So we're looking for a key through one of these guys? That might be the key, I don't know. We can't afford it at 250 though. Limited <laughs> spikes. Castlevania Hearts. Wrecked. I don't know what to do in this game. It looks like it might be interesting if you understand what to do, but it also looks like you're like far you're just farming up enough health to escape the escape the stage, and what's the fun in that? Hmm. I 
Oh, now you want to come up here. We only have 100 still. And the cheapest I saw the key was for 250 If that was the key. We have 100 right now. Uh, that doesn't look like the key, but I'm gonna hit OK. To see what it gave us. See, in the upper right corner, no idea what it did. Doesn't seem to make us any stronger. Or give us any additional health. Alright, yeah, I don't know. This looks like it could be good, but I couldn't figure out what to do. That was uh, Devil Castle. Dino Ball. So here's a pinball game. Gary. Hey, Owl. Happy belated birthday, man. I well, thank you, thank you. you. Enjoyed it. Yeah, yesterday was great. Uh, played some supervision and ate some sushi. Thank you for the uh, 25 months. Over two years. Alright, we got a pinball game. Oh, hello. Yeah, the flippers are so flat they just rolled off. Come on, game. What do, what do I do here? Oh, mini game. Bum, 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 bum. I can't believe a pinball game has digital a digital pinball digital games in it. Still talking about Toy Story here. There's digital pinball and a real pinball, so you can pinball when you pinball. Well, there's, I guess the the thing, the other thing it does is uh, there's a bunch of carnival games that you play, and all the different carnival games are on the uh, the iPad type screen. Yeah, this is just like the real thing. I mean, I would know. I'm a professional pinball streamer, right? My flippers! I hate it when my flipper shrinks. <laughs> We got, uh, Paragon flippers down here. Well, it'd, it'd be more like, not Paragon, it'd be, what was it, uh... What's the game with the two... Oh, what's it called? I always play dollar games on it. Sinbad. And then it's also called Eye of the Tiger, too, right? When it's two-player. Sinbad is the, is the four-player version, and Eye of the Tiger is the two-player version. Sinbad's so good. Am I supposed to just be hitting the hearts or am I supposed to be hitting the balloon? Or the guy in the middle? 
I got 100 points, but I don't know what my score is. But he spits out a new balloon. Oh, give me a thousand for completing it. How do I get out of this purgatory? Did I get past you, buddy? Oh, you have to X out the sides. Okay. So as far as digital pinball games go, especially like a handheld version, this is pretty good, surprisingly. This is my life now. I'm a full-time Game 8 pinball streamer. This is called Dino Ball too, and I have not seen one dinosaur yet. I, I guess maybe that guy that we just fought was a dinosaur. Now that I'm thinking about it. I like how there's like math in the playfield. Two times, four times, six times, eight. Some old pachinko? No, this is pinball, come on. Pachinko is the one without flippers. You think every handheld pinball game you've played is better than this? No. Consoles, yes. God, the music got really bad again. Alright, well that's Dino Ball. What's Dino Bebo? Baby, help me. Alright, I'm calling... A bubble ball. I was gonna say a bubble bubble clone, but then the weird little guy to the right threw me off. What is this? Okay, I can whip things through my tail. Looks like I have power-ups too. I can duck. I can jump. Oh, and I can screen wrap. Okay. Looks like there's a timer. Select to quit. Asmic? Sounds familiar. Is Asmic a game character? That frog's happy as shit. So how do I... How do I get past the ice? I did pick up a bomb, but I don't know how to use it. Select kills my kills me. Huh. Maybe I have to hit the thing instead of collect it. No. This looks like it has potential if I could figure out how to how to get past the ice. Frog is back. Oh look, I can only jump like one square, I can't jump up. Maybe I should just stay ducked. Anybody know? Well, 
Well... From like different button combinations. Not having any luck here. Let's try reloading it. No options. Alright, so the bomb's gotta be the key. My league looks different now. Nope. I have no idea. Um, let's look at what somebody else does. So, Dino Bebo. Do you think there's another video of this on the internet? It has to be, right? I know Bebo. Gotta be away. So they laid a bomb. Got my bomb. Oh, down. Okay. No, select kills you. <laughs> Hold down and then hit the attack button. Oh, I already, I already messed up. Because I need to be on the other side of... Uh... I'm going to die right here. I need to be on the other side of those spikes. Alright, we got it this time. Oh, I gotta get that bomb. Oh wait, I can go the other way around. There's like a hundred percent more waifus on this console. It's a good thing. Dude! What the frick? Hey, 
It went the other way this time? Okay. I think I've already... Oh, no. I thought I had already soft-locked it. I think I have to get another a certain amount of hearts to have a love connection. I think that's what's going on here. Boo. And you probably have to knock down enough boxes there to get back up to the top. Anything's better with wife is? You're right. So you need three hearts, it looks like. I don't think I'm gonna figure out the second screen, though. So... There's... One heart this way. That rock stuck down there. So I have to push this down. No, I don't have to push it down. I could, uh, I could make it fall down. Can I scroll down? I can't see down. I didn't get a bomb power up. I have no idea. Can't scroll the screen there. Yeah, this one's this one will take a little bit of time to figure it out. I'll call that a good game though. Dino Bebo. Dinosaur Park. Oh, wow. What we got here? Oh, this is cute. story. <laughs> that kid's terrifying. Give me your cash! Oh, we're fighting. It's a fighting game. Punch, a kick. Power up moves?
barely won. Uh, we got a we got a two matcher. No zoning going on. Yo, I just got generated. <laughs> oh, this is gonna come down to like real close. Barely got that. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, I can choose that character now. Nice. What if there's actual moves or anything? No charge moves. I think the computer's got the advantage of being able to do what they want. The uh, trolls aren't too good for this. Air punch. I have like no reach with this character. The old umbrella kick combo is a lot better. I'm getting hit every time I do the kick, though. Oh, that was a move. Yeah, the umbrella is OP. Oh no! Got her. That's oh, just a straight up fighting game. Now I'm fighting a ball of soot.
I am getting my butt kicked to a ball set. This looks interesting. I'll say this is worth playing on here. It's no Chinese uh, fighter EX, but pretty decent. It's called Dinosaur Park. Enchanted Bricks. Single game, double game. Yes. Oh. I think we know what it is. I wonder if this is the same game that we played earlier. I remember the decorations on the sides looking very similar. Thought I found the spot. Pretty uneventful, but... We'll finish this uh, first stage and then, then move on. Might need a shot of espresso. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, it's it's at least moving now. Weird that it's still just a square though. I wonder if my phone still works for, uh, mobile. What's up, Sick Jake? Welcome. Yeah, we just played a fighting game on here. It's pretty interesting. And we have, uh, we have two new handhelds. We have the Supervision, which we explored every game yesterday, and, and then today is the, uh, the Game Mate. Or Gamate, I don't know how to say it. This seems to have better games so far. A lot of the games, it looks like, were both made by BitCorp. What's up, Galaxian? You like the pixel grid display? Are you talking about for the core? Yeah, the um, this is the Game Boy, like one of the Game Boy filters. It it makes these uh, I normally don't like any kind of effects on when you're streaming video, um, but I think it really does a lot of uh, a lot of good on the handheld units for streaming to give you guys like a nice nice display out. It helps square the pixels, basically, and add shadow masks. Yo, Murdoch, thank you so much. Yeah, New Geo Pocket Color Core is coming. Uh, 
that's going to be an amazing library, and we'll do the same thing for that library. I don't think we'll get through that uh, entire library in one day, though, because there's so many rad games. So many fighters that I want to play through. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely explore every game on that console. I was wondering if I need to return to the Wonderswan. Um, I think I explored a few of the games on the Wonderswan, but I did I don't think I, I played every game on the Wonderswan. So there might be there's a there's a lot of language barrier on that system though. This one, as you can see, mostly has English uh everywhere, but the Wonderswan core not so much. What's the the story in Love and Berry? I actually got it from Pass Blaster. I had wanted it for years and years. They're super rare cabinets. And a bunch of them turned up here in the in the uh locally and got flipped to a few different people and just held on to. And uh mine sat for a long time unfinished, but I finally now have the uh I have a control metal control panel and I have a a bezel plexi. Because most of them had like uh the Love and Berry had um if you've ever seen the Love and Berry cabinet, it has buttons and uh, a card reader and dispenser, so not normal controls. So yeah, it's a good little cab to convert. Um, I've kind of decided, I, I haven't decided yet if I want to keep it Love and Berry or if I want to like re-theme it. If I re-theme it, it's going to be, become a dedicated game like Pepsi Man or Splatterhouse, or it's going to become like, a, there's a nice little um, Sega Astro City, uh, I think it's Astro City, and there's also an Aero City conversion kit art-wise. Uh, I definitely would want to keep it Sega, though, because it is a real Sega cabinet um, with fiberglass and metal, so I definitely would want to keep it Sega. But yeah, it's a cute little cabinet. I kind of I kind of lost interest in it uh, a little while back, especially with me having now a functional Capcom cute cab. Um, I haven't really put much time into it. I should give it... To, I, I, I should just give it to somebody to finish. <laughs> I'd want to keep it, though. Dedicated Dancing Eyes cabinet. You're a man of good taste. So this game looks good. This is a, this is a playable game. Um, what do you think? Is this notable? Like, is this worth writing on like a game list? I think I'm gonna add Dino, even though it wasn't the best. I'm gonna add Dino Ball to to the list. <clears throat> You've written some games, uh, some guides for Neo Geo Pocket games. Nice. A full Star Wars cabinet. Oh, he's got they got a dedicated environmental. Nice. Classic game, classic. Keep the cab. Yeah, I'm not going to sell it. Uh, I have no reason. I it took me I asked Pass Blaster for it for 6 years, 7 years. He finally was like, "Fine, you can have it." I traded him a street I traded uh, him a stream laptop. I had an extra laptop that I was using for streaming, and uh, he, because he wanted to get into it, and uh, but he got my old stream laptop, and I bought a new one. All right, I'm gonna make a shot of espresso here. Let's see if I can, uh, if my phone is recognized. I forgot what the program is. What program do I use to stream from my phone? Epoch cam. Trying to activate it. Yeah, I've I've streamed myself making espresso before, but uh It doesn't look like it's doesn't look like it's gonna find it. It's really finicky on uh, whether it works or not. I 
Turn on the Wi-Fi. Dude, it's it never works for me. It works for me when it wants to work. It only works at the beginning of the stream. Sometimes I have to like shut off like OBS or something. I wonder if there's a update to it. Sometimes you have to connect it with a USB cable, and then it will recognize via Wi-Fi. Okay, anyways, it looks like, uh... Looks like I'll be right back. Alright, I'll be right back. Sorry, I'll take you- take you with you if I- with me if I could. Be right back.
Alrighty. This game looks interesting. Famous Seven. Here's the, uh... The espresso. Delicious. I have a, uh, a Brazil Barista Express. Highly recommend it. I'm gonna use a local, uh, a local roaster. What's up, Snake Eyes? Welcome. Yeah, that, that good crema. You gotta... You gotta have that good crema, buddy. Well, what are you doing if you don't? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to make you guys want coffee. Is it working? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. All right, come on, Famous Seven, be a good game. I believe in you. We had another um, platformer that looked puzzle platformer that looked really interesting, but I couldn't couldn't figure it out. This guy looks like he has four arms. You see that? Little Goro, little Goro dude. Oh, you know what this is instantly reminding me of? You, you know what I bet this is? I bet this is a Goonies clone. This looks like Goonies, if anything. Where you put like a bomb in front of the door. Watch. Oh, they even um, spawn out of a, a cloud. That happens in Goonies too. Alright, so. Let's look. Yep. Yeah, we got a Goonies clone. I mean, Goonies might be a clone of something else, too. I don't know. My first experience to that style game, though, was, uh... Was the Famicom game. Yeah, the kick... Everything looks similar to me. I can only have one, uh... Bomb at a time. That's the way the Goonies game is, too. Hit, they even had diamonds. What is this? Oh, that's an enemy. I thought that was a power-up. Can I blow the dude up? I guess you can, um... The Goonies game, you can, uh... You can lay off the bomb accidentally as well. It's called the, um, Breville Barista Express. There's all kinds of fancy ones, uh, versions of it, that have, like, automatic grinders and all that stuff. You don't really need all that. Not automatic, uh, like, LCD screens. Mine's all analog. Um, it's not, it's not cheap, but if you go to, if you go to a coffee shop more than twice a week, then you're gonna, it's gonna pay for itself pretty quickly. I got mine refurbished, too. So I got it for a discount. So Tex? Welcome. So, where else are there... The, uh, the Famicom game, I actually can, uh, speedrun. It was in one of the, uh, big 20s that I learned. Can I change characters? No. You, gate. Look where you are. You, gate. Hi, you may pass. So I just need to find. I think. I think it's ready for me to go to the next stage. I just need to find where the exit is. Uh, we're playing alphabetical, and we're on F. 
and there's 58 titles. We probably paid 10 or 12 games. How to get to this uh, area here to the left. Oh, okay, we just need to touch it. Okay, Catherine? You found a Mappy clone on this? I found a Mappy clone on uh, the Supervision. But it was so so. No spoilers, Tex. I know you were looking through the library the other day. I kind of want to explore this on my own. And if I miss anything, I'll uh. Oh, look, it even has fire jets. Wait, what? You played that one on the Supervision earlier? Nice. I put up a list of uh, the games I liked on the Supervision. On my Paceman. joined, uh... Oh, this has two sides, like the Goonies game, too? wonder if it's two stages, or if it's just a warp from the front to the back. I didn't... Is that... Did I do that wrong, or...? I think I just did it wrong. Is placement super misleading. Uh, I don't have the list in front of me. I had rats. Yours have rats. Rats and cats. Oh, weird. A floaty ghost. Once we got the person, if we're able to pass the gate now, because that's the way the Goonies game is. You're just looking for your friend, so if you find your friend, you can go to the gate.
Yeah, I think it looks a lot better with the Game Boy Palette on. I almost played it in green today, but it just, it really does look a lot better. You must need a certain amount of the map to be able to pass. Oh, that's a death. Oops. I need two more pieces of the map. Okay. Alright, well this seems decent. Um, famous 7? Not what it, what it was called. Fantasy travel. Hey! Do we have a, uh... Rescue Rangers clone here? I don't seem to have any kind of attack. Mother, brother. What the frick? This is kind of Trippendale's, uh, feeling. Yeah, definitely with the power lines and the way that this is, uh, the fact that I'm a chipmunk as well. Interesting. Can I pick up the boxes then? Can. If you screen wrap fall, you die. Cool. So that means we can pick these up. Dang it.
No! <laughs> Putting my game face on. Really slippery controls. The original game has really nice tight controls. Patience being tested here. Yeah, I'm sure the lines are probably a little bit of a bug. on health thing. Oh dang, we got hit by the top one. I dropped down. Any health? Please? Nope. There's one health. And a shy guy. What are you doing here, shy guy? We're in the wrong. Oh no! They like slid off there. All right, don't really care for that. That was fantasy travel. We got fists of thunder. storyline here. Normal and versus, so I assume this is a fighting game. Did I play this the other day? Yep. So much jank and the games are pretty bad to Owl non-duck. Yep, yeah, they are. But I like jank. Thank you for 25 months, Big Red Pump. We got the old Amiga up for jump. And a punch and a kick button. Get up there, dude. I'm about to die. Oh, health. Uh, this is the g game mate. We did all the supervision games yesterday. I'm gonna try to get through all the game mate games tonight.
Yo, Burpo, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. We're playing some, uh, some, what is this? The Game Mate handheld console, uh, just got ported to the Mister, so we're checking out all the games on here. What's up, Venomlix? Yeah, we got a, we got a solid three FPS here. I think I'm... I don't understand the, uh, fighting technique. It's not free for- it wasn't free for him, it was... It was telling me where to... The close combat's really weird. I can't just attack the dude. Yo, Burbo, thanks. Thanks for the raid. Are you, uh, a Mr. Streamer as well? Spreading the good word. No idea. I don't understand the co the combat. I'm not doing the stage again, though. This looks interesting. I mean, I played if I was a kid. Stuck on a long car ride. and figure it out, but... I'm not. <laughs> you just like the old games? Nice. Well, thank you, thank you. I'll check out the, uh... If I don't follow you already, I'll check out the channel. Thank you. What were you, uh, getting into? I guess we'll try it one more time. I don't think that music change means anything. Oh, Fortnite. Nice. This just makes me want to play Turok 2 on the Game Boy. Which is really good, by the way, if you guys have never played it. I'm gonna have no health. Nice. How's that full health pickup there? I think it, like, tells you where to attack and tells you where he's gonna attack and you have to block it. But I don't... Oh, there's a full health right there. I don't fully understand how to, uh, apply that knowledge. So that was Fist of Thunder. Solid 4.2 out of 10 for me. Flip Puzzle. Was this like a uh, Yoshi's cookie? Not really, though. Miss. Let's 
I don't fully understand how this is what it's doing. It's swapping the one to the left of the matching one. How is that a miss? Zoop? Uh, I've never played Zoop. Uh, I, I remember what it looks like, but I, I never played it. I think those are, yeah, those are misses. I don't get it. You, may, you might have to have three, at least three. So I, I should be thinking about the one at the end here, not the one that I'm trying to get. So if I get a water pail, I can do it to the bottom. Okay, so let's try to think about the strategy here. So this is gonna give me the water pail. This is gonna give me the teapot. Teapot's gonna give me the whale. Whale's gonna give me... Uh, so now I messed up. Whale is gonna give me the uh, the water pot, so then that's a miss because there wasn't three in a row. Hmm. I think power. I just power through any of these things to get to the one, the second one. So I would need a fence. Uh, yeah, fence. This is gonna give me a a pail, but I don't have a. Hell yeah. Huh. This is gonna be a miss. Yeah. Hell. So I wonder if it's uh I wonder if there's a definitive solution on each one of these puzzles. You just have to figure it out like how to approach it. I wonder if it's always the same or not. So there's four at the top. I don't think th this isn't the same pattern that we got last time. So it's not the same at the top. It's not the same for each level. And there is a time limit. And unfortunately, it uh, takes away the puzzle when you pause it. It's gonna try to cheese it. Um, okay. Oh, I goofed because it fell down. I didn't think about that. This is going to be a miss. This is a weird one, for sure. Well, that's definitely not the one I wanted. That has the uh, potential to be good, but I don't really feel like figuring out how to play it right now. Flying Goblin. We got a Gargoyles quest. I hope. Watch it be like a bad puzzle game. <laughs> Poor kid. How dare you fight with me. Words. Oh, Gargoyle's Quest.
I can't believe they attempted a gargoyle quest. Jeez. Which I don't know how to play either, by the way. He's so awkward and weird. Got generated. Ugh. Welcome back, Cathode. How's your burger? Or tendies? Hmm. What'd you get then? Rice bowl with steak. That sounds a lot better. I get like stuck in these uh these webs here. No, no, no. This is like somebody looking at the box art of Gargoyle's Quest and be like, oh yeah, I can, I can make a game like that. But never playing it. <laughs> Yo, generated! Like, never seeing any footage of the game at all. Can't say I'm a fan of this one. That was Flying Goblin. Fortune and Luck. That character looks familiar. What do you do? Buy documents.
I'm gonna buy documents. Let's go to the bank. You've been denied a bank loan. <laughs> Further adventure of Hannibal the Cat. It's a cute loading screen. Little little Totoro. We have a cute em up. So I'm all about a cute em up. Don't touch the mountain. There's even like even pieces of soot. Is this a whole like uh spirit away shmup? Cause that'd be amazing. Oh, there's, um, I didn't realize there's power-ups at the bottom. Kind of like Radius power-up system. Probably with these popsicle things. Yeah, I definitely need speed. Okay, now that I understand that, I'll speed up. This is, uh, this is interesting. It's cute. I don't like environmental deaths, though, man. The worst. Ugh. All right, let's reset this now that I know what to do. <clears throat> Looks like there's a password system too. Harmful pork. Ah, uh. oh, the power ups disappear. Dude, I'm getting wrecked. An umbrella. Aquas. That's yeah, harmful pork. The Totoro Slayer. Uh, this is already the best game on the system. And probably will stay the best game on the system. For me. Oh, we got a Gradius uh, volcano, volcano scene. He 
He's so cute. Oh, uh, we got a boss. It's a Dunedin scooter. No! Dude, what the frick? Okay, I assume we're supposed to go down. Yeah, I've never seen this game ever, either. This is kind of like uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, the giant ship levels. I got nothing to shoot at here. Oh yeah, or the giant R-type -tip, R ship. Oh, we got a jalapeno. Oh, that ki that clears uh. Clears the screen. That's cool. I can't find the song Clears the Screen on Spotify. Shut up. Didn't even say your name. <laughs> what did I say, dude? I did not say the A word. I don't understand what was going on with that boss, but... Well, this stage really isn't kinda... isn't fair. I don't think I can kill these guys. I want to get, like, super powered up. I like that these enemies bounce back once they touch the back of the screen, either. Dang it. <clears throat> hey, at least the continues, uh... Looks like there's unlimited continues here. See, I can't kill these guys. I don't like that. What's up, Mr. Frog? Oh, these frogs are gonna be problematic. As soon as you get hit, too, you lose your power-ups. So, because I got hit, I lost my speed power-up. Which kind of stinks. Bruh!
No! Dude, so many power-ups right there. Is this the beginning of the stage? Or are we having, like, semi-checkpoints here? I think it's the beginning of the stage. Oh, come on, dude. I think it's, uh... I don't think it's the beginning of the stage. Boltastic! Thank you for the follow. Alright, we got... I just accidentally went through all those power-ups. Dang it. I got a front shot and a butt shot. And I'm dead. I'm getting super wrecked. I don't feel like hyper focusing and playing this like legitimately. I will come back to this game though. This is cool. That was Further Adventures of Hannibal the Cat. like a sequel. Yeah, Bob Tessic thanks. And welcome. Galaxy Invaders. This is not gonna be as good as further adventures of Hannibal the Cat. Space Invaders! It could be a mixture of the two, but it's definitely more Space Invaders-ish to me. <laughs> Shut up, you nerds. <laughs> Well, technically... Nobody's wearing pants right now. Why would you wear pants? You don't have to. This actually doesn't look too bad for a uh, Space Invader Galaxian clone combination. How did I know? I could just tell. The way you're typing. It's obvious. Dude, they really come for you. Ah! This is better than I thought it was gonna be.
Oh, come here, buddy. Can't get you. Why don't you move it left a little bit? A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. That was Galaxy Invaders. GP race. Probably stands for uh, Grand Prix. <laughs> Hey, Tony. What's up, Akuma? Go ahead and turn that down a little bit for you guys. Because <laughs> it's painful for me to hear. It's probably painful for you to hear, too. Again, nice. Yeah, it's really hard. Good game, though. Bruh! 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 Dude, he, he like swerved over. Yeah, I turned it down. Oh, there's a whole group of them right behind me. This is, this looks like a uh, fun if you if you like learn how to play it. Oh, there's that group of three again. A part of qualifier. GP race. I'm sure that's good if you want to put some time into it. Heaven clash. Quiz fighter. Uh, get off Godzilla. I wanna play I wanna play Godzilla. Or Mega Duck. We'll be angry waifu. We got a fighting game. Hadouken! Bruh! Oh, 
lot of double KOing going on here. We found another fighting- we found a couple fighting games so far. The other good one was, uh... Dinosaur Park was another fighting game that we played. I swear I threw a fireball, didn't I? Uh, we're getting freaking wrecked here in the corner. Time. Oh no, that was KO. Uh, don't want to be that person again. Why the heck is it called Quiz Fighter though? Oh, we got an angry bull. I can normally figure out moves in, like, generic Street Fighter games, but the fireballs, the charge moves, they're not- they're not working. Neither is block, by the- by the way. Oh, maybe it's, like, select? No. Is select a button? Nope. This guy just wrecked me, and I can't make him do anything. What the crud? Yes, yes, yes. Gameplay, please. Oh, this is like a series. Four versus four? I'm not doing four players. Where's my Street Fighter moves? Come on. Oh, see, he had something. Maybe that's the Ken. There's no block. Oh, wait, both buttons might be block. Yeah, both buttons together is block. Which is really weird. I'm getting freaking uh, zoned here in the corner. There's a fireball. This is rough. This is rough.
Fireball, please. Because I'm not using my arcade stick. Alright. That's unfortunate. This might be a good game if you know how to do the moves, but it's not really working that well for me. Hot Hero. Vigilante? Reminds me of another Game Boy game I played. Time Warp. See, this is a good game. Both buttons are both buttons together are a uh, are the jump. Yeah, we found the tech. You just jump kick through the game. Dude, we got we got triple punched in the air there because of that accidental neutral jump. That's rough. I hit there. And there. Hmm. Not sure how, how I feel about this one. You literally crawling across the screen until I can hit continue. Here, fly away! Tell my family I failed them! Cry. No continue. Alright. Uh...
Insect War. This is a Sashin game? There was a, um, there's a Sashin Insect War that was advertised, advertised in a game magazine, but it never came out. But then they got so many pre-orders for it that they made a game called Insect War. <laughs> That's my Insect War story. Dude, environmentals, are you kidding me? On such a tiny little... Tiny little screen? Oh yeah, it was quality for sure. I can shoot both ways, that's what the A and the B are. Game Boy games would be of higher caliber. I would think. Yeah, this is a Game Boy clone, like, console. Called Game Mate. There was a, a there so far there's been a handful of okay games, but there's a real there's a real uh, gem that we found called the Adventures the Further Adventures of Hannibal the Cat, which was like a, a harmful park feed 'em up with Totoro. So that alone has paid for paid for itself basically for this exploration stream. Oh, you hear Proteus music? Oh, jump on it. A little bit. the missile does, but... That section right there, I hear a little bit of the melody. Oh, maybe it was just like a shield or something. This is made by the same people as last as the the cat game, but because I, I couldn't kill that enemy. I can also shoot the projectiles. That sprite is uh, loaded correctly. Come on, continue right there. Just instant deaths. That's two lives. Three lives! Started at the beginning of the stage too, didn't it? I'm 
Imagine if you had to beat every game on this console. You did a console challenge with the game mate. It'd be pretty rough. All right, this is this is this game. That was Insect War. Pretty rough. Jewelrys. That looks like Tetris. Dr. Mario. I think we played uh, a game like this yesterday as well. Alright, Dr. Mario clones don't really interest me. Kiki Island. Adventure Island? Wait, 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 we saw a game like this. Oh yeah, it's totally Adventure Island. What's up, Jim Mac? Welcome. What happened there? That was kind of Dr. Mario-ish if you're uh, talking about the last game. What weird loading screens. Yeah, they're not even trying to hide it in this one. Come on. Dang it. Adventure Island clone. Probably pretty playable. Kiki Island. Okay, this is Kill Shot. Oh, we got a Quarth game? Yay, Quarth! Oh no.
Boop. There's a normal button and an auto fire button. That's what's getting me uh, in trouble here. Maybe it's not auto fire, maybe it shoots three exactly. What's up, Norman? Runs better with Far Wars music. <laughs> the, uh... The Game Boy Court game is actually really good. And that was just 1 1, too. Wow. Same music, though. So dead. <laughs> nice. Alright, it's a fourth clone. Seems pretty good. 
Kung Fu Fighter. Taking too much time today. Probably will only get through M. We'll have to do a second game mate stream. Wait, did I see another pinball game? No. I am I am bearded man, Zengif. I kick. Uh His health is not going down. Oh. This is this is a for for a forever fight. Cuz look. He has 10 health per block. And I'm doing like what? 1 damage per hit. Is the goal not to beat him, but to get to, like, the right side? Uh, Risha did it. This one and the other one. And they basically... They were doing the super... They, do, they just finished the supervision, and, uh... They were talking about starting the Mega Duck. And I was like, have you looked at the game, mate? And, uh, she was like... Yeah, it looks pretty simple. As long as, a uh, so-and-so processor... And then, like, two days later, or a day later, she had it done. So, um, I told her I just took it as a birthday present. <laughs> and here we are. So I wonder if it's just, to, um, if we're just trying to get to the right side or something. And it's not about health. Can I jump around this person? I can't jump past them. Dude, this game sucks. Legend of the Dragon Knight. bad flickering. Uh, this, this is another collect-a-thon. Collect X amount of coins. Find the, find the escape. There was another game we played just like this that I didn't really care for. A health counter on the right side of the bars? Yeah. There's like 10 health per, per bar. Yo, what's up, random? Welcome. This 
characters remind me of, uh, the guy from Monsters, Inc. Mike Kazowski, or whatever his name was. Alright, this game stinks. <laughs> Magic Jigsaw? I am horrible at Jigsaw games. And it looks like a very big Jigsaw game. You have to probably collect the pieces and then push them in the right order or something. So there's a pull and a push button. You have to click the pieces, put it in the right order. Meh. Marauder. Oh, air raid. This air raid? Yep, totally air raid. Nice. Legendary Atari game. Can't shoot your fuel. Ah, uh, walked right into that. Oh, I didn't even see the sideways missiles. So that's an air raid game. Mars Voyage. Uh oh. What do we got? Radius. Player out. <laughs> well, that. Ugh. Oh, is it the straight up same image? Oh. <sighs> 
Yeah, it's got pretty bad controls and flickering. Is it the whole game? Oh, is that what it is? Four-way movement, not diagonal? Yeah, there's something off here. Oh, yeah, it is. You can't do diagonals. That's what was throwing me off. Behind me? First word. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Metamorphosizer. Metamorphosizer? Metamorphosizer. <laughs> I can't even say the word. I don't think it's a word. This is a tough guy? Tough guy. Oh, is it turtles? Yikes, cathode. <laughs> Yeah, this is straight up Turtles, uh, this is the Turtles game, right? Just done very poorly. Yeah, Nintendo. it has been announced. So we're finding that the uh, the Game 8 has more clones of games than the Supervision did, but a better general, better caliber of game. Mighty Tank. Are you buying one in 10 Gabe?
Okay, I think there's an objective here. Yeah, me either. Alright, it's just <coughs> some kind of tank game. Ooh, golf game. Ten gotta buy a stern game for 10k, like a poor person. What do we have here? A Klax clone? Wait, what? Well, that didn't really hit it that far. <laughs> yeah, easy peasy. Twenty strokes, no big deal. You can't really hit it that hard. understand it a little bit better. You got a quest too as a birthday gift? Nice. I like my quest. I don't play I don't use it ever, but when I do I like it. Alright, let's That was a little bit better than the first putt we made. The problem is like look, I need to hit it like here, but it's not gonna go that far. I could do something like this. Was better. All right. Uh, probably best to just hit it like this. Get it back there, and now I can rip it. Well, that's not really gonna rip it. Windmilled. How dare you. Don't do it again! Fudge. Fudge! <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, there we go. That's better. First try. Well, this is infuriating. This is probably good if you want to put time into it. What's that a clone of? Kind of just the normal Famicom golf game. Uh, called Putt-Putt. Mini-Putt? But Mini-Putt's a lot better. Is that music? What's up, Skankcore? It does work on CRT. Uh, the signal is squished, though. So, uh... Your left to right movement is good, but your up to down movements... Like, it looks slow on your screen. But I guess that's, that's the easiest way to get a, a signal out versus, uh... Having to have two two signals. Ugh, there's a uh... yeah. I am playing. I am playing on the screen. It's just a little squished. I'll show you. <clears throat> we Pac Man.
What was this game called? This was... Monster Maze. Can't go past that? I don't know, dude, the DOS PC speaker was really bad. I mean, I, I had a computer at that time. This isn't too pleasant. Oh, we have to transform into the human? Do the white area? Yeah, it's, it's pretty flashy. I don't know if it can come this way. It is. I, you can apply the um, you can apply the Super Game Boy filters, which is what I did. So without it, it would look like this. And that's pretty painful to look at. Right. Gotta get this, get past this guy. Wait, there's actually another entrance over here. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh! No! Come on! Uh, 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 uh. Eat! Uh! Uh! <laughs> This is a hard first stage. What if there's dots that I can't see, like, underneath the bridges? I didn't see that guy. This looks like it has potential. Money maze? I'm gonna put that on the list. <clears throat> yeah, Ninja Pocket's gonna rule. Monster. I'm surprised we haven't seen a um space harrier clone. Oh, it's a legit pitfall.
Why does he drop from the top of the screen? I'd rather just play Pitfall. Myth of Asmia? This looks like uh, Big Head 2. You guys have ever played that? Oh, the jumps are horrible. So it's got Castlevania jumps. You can't control it once you're jumping. That's what happened there. Yikes, dude. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I'm just rushing, looking for something. Just trying to make note of what the, what the games I want to return to are. How much the games were? There's no way these games were forty dollar games. Nightmare of Santa Claus. Hoping this is really cursed.
So Santa Claus can't jump, I guess. Is that an owl? Great sound effects. Wobbly. What pinball game? What pinball game would you like me to review? Game show. All right, we'll do it right after this game. This is a good game. It's can't core. You okay? Doing right there. Where's my key? All right, what do I, oh, there we go. Oh no! Let me out of this game! How is this Santa Claus? The nightmare of Santa Claus. How is? So Jimmy Jimmy update the mister god damn it You're missing out on all these games You are hey Jimmy Jimmy uh you need to update your mister You're missing out on all these games Now that you told me that I'm just gonna tell you to update your mister every time I see you I run the update script every time before the stream in case there's something new Oh, so those, um, my weapons are limited, which I didn't know. I wouldn't have been tossing them out like free Doritos. Ooh, there's some turkey down there. And just so you guys understand, this is called... Nightmare of Santa Claus. All right, let's do Wally's review here. All right, so Game Show is a pretty uh, pretty rad game. Um, you don't see that many of them out there. As you can see, it's pretty low production, 2,500 units. Uh, made by Williams, it's 11C hardware, so at the very end of the System 11. System 11s in general, I really like. Um, if you look at the, if we click on the 11, Bugs Bunny, 11C was the very end. So you got Bugs Bunny, which is a really weird Python game, Diner, Dr. Dudes. 
etc. But the the C the Williams Eleven series is also what brought us uh, Funhouse. No, Funhouse is WPC. There is yes yeah, WPC, but it's like the Funhouse era type of games. Um, yeah, designed by Dan Lagonis. Uh, he did some other really cool games. Let's look. I think he did Mousing Around. No, he did Radical. That's what I always remember for. So this guy likes crazy weird ramps. So Gilgan Island, Heavy Metal Meltdown, uh, Black Belt. These all have really weird ramps. Um, so let's look at the game. I've played one in tournament before, and you just... If it's possible to just continually shoot the middle ramp, that's what you do in the game. So it's like you're on a game show. It has like an applause light that blinks on. Um, crazy weird, this this really weird uh, art style, which I kind of dig. Who is the artist? The artist is Tim Elliott. What else did Tim Elliott do? Tim Elliott did... Oh, really? Okay, so it's that Earth shake, Earthshaker style of uh, art. Interesting. Well, it's Transport to the Rescue. Huh. Um, so you can see the game has some nice ramps. It's got this giant center ramp here. Um, and then the center ramp feeds back to... The left, the left in lane. There's also a right ramp here. I'm pretty sure if you just shoot the right ramp over and over, you'll you'll get into some points here. Um, not a great view of the game though. Yeah. So look, the middle ramp goes here. And then I think it can actually fall out or something. I remember something weird with with the ramp. Goes to the left end lane. There's also this shot right here, which is really tight. It's just to the left of the middle ramp. The shoot to the car shot that feeds to the pop bumpers. And then there's this right orbit shot. So yeah, pretty cool game. Um, not my favorite, but always a pleasure to see because you don't really see that many of them you can, I can't really say that much more on the game because I've only really played it I played it at Papa uh, for a tournament and I just kept on shooting that metal ramp and I remember I I remember I won my my match oh there's a subway as well nice yeah thanks for redemption And that was a pinball review. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune I played as well. Dennis, Dennis Nordman design. Pretty fun. Cool thing about that game is it has a set RNG when you turn it on. So if you power cycle it and then start a game, the answers will always be the order that you know. And there's only nine different combinations of, of, of questions. So if you, if you memorize the questions, you can, you can choose you know, one of the nine pathways. <laughs> So that's a way to, to get to, to play that game really well in a tournament. Mirrored back glass. <coughs> oh, it does look like Al's a uh, garage ban. What is this game? Oh, we're a dog. Is this just a straight up free roam adventure game? Wow. Yo, what's up, Fury Force?
Pretty sure that this tiger is gonna mess us up. Don't be afraid. Would you have some medicine to cure my ills? No. Walking simulator. The locked door. Ha ha! It is locked. Am I talking to myself saying that? Stop! No. I shall not stop. <laughs> Who's this dude? You got some beef? You wanna fight? I'm in your house. I said things I require, blah blah blah. Well, that was too fast. Dude, that was way too fast. What did you want? Will you repeat the message? First run over to the other town. The field. Find something. Weird. Take whatever's on a shelf. Let's rob this guy. Excuse me? Why is there a girl crying? I'm in the middle of my screen. I hit the start button. Okay, the start button brings up a little girl crying in jail. Okay, that you have a pretty big inventory here. I'm surprised I can't grab whatever that thing is. Can I grab this twig? Weird. I was trying to. I, w I wanted to take his soul possession. <laughs> Hi, Scarecrow. What's the difference between potatoes and sweet potatoes? Potatoes are a root. Wait, wait, wait. Is this an educational game? Potatoes are a root. Sweet potatoes are a tuber. Potatoes are a tuber. Sweet potatoes are roots. Both are roots. Both are tubers. All right, Internet. Somebody Google that for me. <laughs> Fuck yeah, potato facts! Isn't there a, uh, a game like this on the Nintendo with tomatoes in the title? What's it called? Princess Tomato? This is Princess Potato. Nobody knows if they're tubers or roots? Come on. You guys gotta know this. Potatoes are root, and sweet potatoes are tubers. Potatoes are tubers, sweet potatoes are roots. Both are roots, both are tubers. No one? I'll let you guess. I don't feel like Googling it. <laughs> you weren't paying attention in the uh, potato facts class? What's up, bro? Can we just walk away and not answer? <sighs> Fine, I'll Google it. Rubber Tater's a tuber. Alright. What about sweet potatoes? So they're both tubers. Alright. It is wrong! Alright, uh, can somebody ban skank cork, please? Oh, it's a stem tuber, root tuber. 
All right, we'll try it. We'll try it again. Potato facts. Oh, oh no. Why are the seeds unable to sprout after being cooked? They absorb too much water. Their protein has been jellied. The seed is extinct. The protective coating has, is loosened. I don't ever speak of this game again. How many games we got left? Fifteen games, can we do it? Pharaoh's Revenge. Alright, we're gonna try to run through these. Do I want to get the falling brick? Oh, so I think I'm, I'm I'm losing health when I hit those uh I understand now That looks interesting. <clears throat> Alright, see you in Nintendo Cade. Have a good night. Oh, we got a pipe dreams. I'm not good at these. I can't do this because I'm tired. But oh, it's a pipe. It's a pipe mania, pipe dreams type game. That's cool. Interesting is a nice way to put it. I mean, if you, if your parents bought that for you, you would you would at least try it, right? All right, we got a we got a goof troop game. No attack here. 
Oh, we might have a butt bump. Butt bump. Yep. Oh, we got a speedrun game. You are a very slow spider. So slow. Beating any game is a world record, yeah. Oh, come on, mushroom. Really? That spider is very happy with himself. Oh, come on. Same freaking, uh... What if I need that bomb or not? Oh, I tried to butt bump off the thing and it didn't work. Oh, this is cool. That's a cool, uh, continue exit screen. This game has style. Controls are pretty good, too. It's, the, it's also the fastest... Probably the fastest scrolling Game 8 game we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, it would run really nice on the Game Boy, I'm sure. Alright, I'm gonna put that as interesting. Punk Boy. Riddle of the Ancient Tomb. Isn't that the name of an Iron Maiden song? I think it's Ancient Mariner. All these enemies. Weird. I want to take a shower. I mean, lost dishes. I think this is the game that Macaw played all the way through. Pretty sure.
Are we going somewhere? Can't tell if we're going to the other side or not. Okay, it's not a bridge we can walk on. Yikes. Must be some, like, folklore creature. That's the end of the stage. Yeah, <clears throat> this looks like it has potential. I don't know what to do, but it looks like if you knew what to do, it'd be pretty interesting. I'll put this as, I'll put this as interesting. Riddle of the Ancient Tomb. Robin Hood. Oh no, Robin Hood's the game that uh Maca I watched Macaw play through on the game mate. Pretty sure Robin this Robin Hood game's supposed to be really good. Yeah, it says the nicest presentation so far. This is almost like the same as the last game. No diagonals, just uh, four-way directions here. So you probably have to farm until you get enough to go buy stuff. Catching the cat obviously is a good thing. It just gave me gave me something. Oh, there's a monkey. Alright, I'll put this as interesting. Snowman Legend. The Snow Bros.
Okay, weird game. Best music? No. It's not bad, though, for the system. Okay, can't shoot the slugs. Noted. That looks pretty cool. Tennis. Wonder if tennis is as good as the uh, basketball and baseball games we played. I bet you it's gonna be just like Mario Tennis. Yeah. In this game, the Golden Pyramid. Yeah, it's it's more impressive than the Supervision, for sure. I just wish there was some more third-party developers. It seems like everything's by UMC or Bit. Is that the guy from Snatcher? They put some idea, some effort into the stolen ideas, exactly. Beep, 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 beep. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, 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 beep. I'm old! Give me money. that you say I do? Let's go to our day job. Sitting on a bench, doing salary man stuff. Where's uh, Taito Hay here? Is this it? Let's 
Time Warrior. Oh, my back keeps on cracking. This looks bad. Uh, I can just hold down fire, but I can't get out of a pit. I have to do like a Mario 2 jump. Rick. I think there's a double jump. Maybe there was. No double jump. Wee! You just have to not fall in the jump. There's no way you get stuck. There's no way it allows you to get stuck in the very first pit. I, I'm holding up too, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying the, the, the standard stuff. Double jumping, holding up, getting running speed. Press up jump. You refuse to believe it? You know what, Jimmy? Update your mister and, and play it. <laughs> Got him. Tornado. Jimmy, do you have a um, do you have a dongle, a Wi-Fi dongle, or do you have it hooked up to the internet? Because that's like the, once you get Wi-Fi all set up, it's super easy to, uh, to update it often. But I know before I had Wi-Fi, I was like, eh, I don't want to take it to, you know, it just was made it difficult to update. You got Ethernet plugged in? Okay. Was this Xanic? I see that six over there. Flickering's pleasant. Imagine looking on this on a two inch screen with this colorway. Oh, dude, the coolest thing about this game is the pause menu. Treasure Hunter. You know what I'm surprised we haven't seen? Oh, look, it is. Load Runner. Oh, we haven't seen any Load Runner style games. And here's one, here's one right here. Kind of. I don't think I can jump. Can you jump in Load Runner? You can't, right?
Hey, it's totally right now. Oh, so I totally have my buttons backwards. But I can't fall? Let me reprogram my buttons. Right, left, down, up. I guess... B, A? Let's start. Left. Okay. Oh, I probably could have used, uh, could have used this. I have to do the first stage again? Pretty bunk. Unless I just continued or something. Front row. I didn't really think that one out, huh? Am I stuck stuck? Am I soft locked? Well, that's a load runner clone. Pretty cool, treasure hunter. Controls felt really snappy for this, especially for this system. What's this? This is Vindicators. Was that Vindicators from Atari? It's like a load runner type game, I think. 
Or is it the Konami game called Vindicators? It's a run and gun. Oh, this is that tank game we already played. Volcano Panic. I think we already played this too. Another Bomberman clone? No. What did we do? Oh, is this like B ball? This is like B ball. I love B ball. Controls are really bad though. It's timed as well. So this wants me to put certain balls in the color matching holes. Uh, <clears throat> which I can figure out how the control works. It'd probably be okay, but the controls are really rough. So yeah, interesting. Witty ape. Please just be a generic slot game. Uh... Can I start game, please? Start. A, B. Confused. Start. Start. I don't know how to start the game. I had to hit select a bunch. Just give me to the gameplay. Please. Yes. Good to go. Start. Okay. Yep, that's the level. Okay, it's... Another load runner type game. Meh. Four and a half hours of game mate games. Yikes. No eight way, just four way. You don't need eight way to play soccer.
Alright. <laughs> Let's revisit probably one of the only games I'll come back to. I actually think, even though it is a lot less technically impressive, and the sprites overall are a lot better on this system, I think I like the games on the Supervision a little bit better. Which is really weird, because this game, this console looks a lot better, and they try to do a lot more with it. You really want me to play Kakarot? Well, in the stream with Kakarot. Um, I think I like the Supervision better. I think this has a better library in general, but, um, yeah, I think I like the Supervision better. This game, though, is the best game for either system. Little, little Harmful Park, Totoro, is adorable. This is a gem of a find. I do hate that when you get hit, you lose your power-ups, though. It's pretty painful. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Can I go down here? Yo, yo, surreal. Thanks for the uh, the raid there. Ping the net. What's up? How you doing? Welcome. And the vision team. Thanks for the follow. I'm anonymous here. Uh, we're exploring the game eight library. And you're just coming in at the end of the stream, unfortunately. But this was you're seeing the best game that we found so far. This is uh the further adventures of Hannibal the cat. It's kind of like a harmful park. Cute him up for the uh for the system. This is by far the best game that we played tonight. Just revisiting it. What uh what were you getting into tonight? And we are gonna play an amazing game after this. Somebody redeemed uh play play uh Keck Rock, which is this Genesis homebrew game. So we'll we'll end the stream with uh with a jank Genesis game. Alright, let's let's uh Let's do that redemption now. Where's the kick rock? What's up, Iron Fox? I'm gonna get really good at Keck Rock if you guys are gonna redeem this every stream. I need to make it so it's only redeemable once a week. <laughs> hey, but if you guys like it, that's all that matters.
I'm surprised people haven't started speedrunning this yet. Should I get the world record in Kakarok? Just get like really good at it. As soon as I like memorize where all the the pickups are, I mean we'll be pretty pretty good to go. Hitbox, though. No, oh, thanks again, Surreal, for the, uh, the raid. Sorry you're coming in here at the end. You didn't miss much though. <laughs> games were games were pretty rough today. Still cool to ex always still cool though to explore weird consoles I've never played before. Rock, no! I like how he reappears, but then it still gives you, uh, takes away the life. He was in my head? Yeah. I can see that with like the, the purposely bad hand drawn backgrounds. Hello, guys. I'm Anonymous. That was Kek Rock. Thanks for joining me for uh, exploring the Game 8 library. 
pretty uh pretty interesting. We did we did find a cool game, so or a couple cool games. But uh mostly that Total War Slayer uh game was pretty rad. Uh let's look for somebody to host. Sorry Shirley that you're coming in here at the end here. Look for uh somebody to throw you guys to. And 